Hey you guys. Grand Rising, Grand Rising. On this beautiful, gorgeous Thursday morning. Let me put you guys up there. Again, Grand Rising to you guys, to everyone, to all my beloveds. So I am bringing you guys a video today on the vibrations and frequency of the heart chakra. Okay, and I have my notebook here. I actually just stepped out of baby girl school. I went to go do some observation today in her classroom. And you know, I just feel, I feel really good this morning. I woke up early, um, you know, really just got myself together and I'm ready to bring you guys information on the Anahata all right which is Hindu Sanskrit for the heart chakra the heart center the center of the energetic frequencies within our body okay so with that being said let's get started because I have um, a lot of information here, all right? Y'all know how we do on these videos. All right, so let's get started. The heart chakra. Whoo, let me tell y'all, the heart chakra is something else. I am always actively working on the heart chakra because I am such a hard ass when it comes to tough love and loving um with toughness, I guess, so to say. I just really want people to understand where I'm coming from and understand my side of things, and I'm very passionate. And sometimes I know I can come off a bit harsh. Sometimes I know I can come um, a bit, you know, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on not trying to cuss anymore. Like, I'm really working on myself and who I am as a deliverer okay that also has to do with throat but it's close it's very close all right it's so close so the heart chakra impacts our life all right with compassion love beauty and balance okay it is driven by um transformation the heart is all about transformation it is literally the energy that um merges our earthly with our spirit intentions or aspirations okay the location of the heart chakra is not at the actual heart organ it is actually on the breastbone which is right there if you touch that area right there that is your heart chakra okay so that's why um like a lot of people wear, wear, will, bleh, will wear necklaces and they'll have like heart chakra necklaces and it's right on the heart. Okay, so that's the perfect location to put it. Literally, again, center of the chest, it is not the actual heart. Okay, um, the color that is associated with the heart chakra on a regular frequency level is green, but your higher energies can also come off as a pink color, okay? So that's why rose quartz is associated with the heart chakra as well as jade, malachite, so on and so forth. The element of the heart chakra is air, all right? So we'll get into that in a second, all right? Now, stones that are associated with the heart chakra, just like I said, um, rose quartz, malachite pink rose quartz a uh, pink quartz i should say uh emerald clear quartz jade green calcite amazonite as well which is one of my favorite stones and that's just to name a few um also there's green aventurine um rhodonite is associated with the heart chakra so there's so many um heart chakra stones out here all right now as far as our organs are concerned, the thymus gland is associated with the heart chakra. The heart chakra is also um, associated with hormone production and regulation of the immune system. Okay. The main energies or the main um, 
mantras, so to say, or um, affirmation based um, affirmation, like the the first part of the affirmations, like the I can, I will, I, I, I am, I feel. So those those energies that are associated with the heart chakra are I love, I can relate, I forgive, I will change, I will grieve and have peace. I am compassionate with discernment. I am aware. Okay. I just felt that in my heart. Woo. Okay. Come on, heart chakra. Now, let's talk about blockages and all that good stuff. Okay. So if your heart chakra is open, all right, you are going to feel at ease. You're going to feel worthy of love. You're going to feel balanced between masculine and feminine energies. You're going to be deeply connected to self and to nature and to other people. Um, you're going to have a pre, a, an appreciation for all beauty. Okay. So that means nature wise. We're not talking like romantic sexual beauty, um, which can be tied into it, but tied into it. That's more the sacral. This is going to be more of appreciation for life, for the universe, for the things around you. Okay. Now, if you have a blockage, okay, if you have a blockage, you're going to have issues with relating to others, jealousy, excessive jealousy, not healthy jealousy, because we all have jealousy tendencies. It's healthy to be jealous. If you're not jealous just a little bit, I'm a little concerned. Okay. I'm a little concerned, but overly be over excessive jealousy is definitely a blockage. Codependency and we'll talk about that in a second. Feeling withdrawn um, and hard to love unconditionally. Now let's take that. Let's take that a step further. Okay. So you also could be overly defensive. All right. Very closed down. Um, and this is um, imbalances. So I apologize. We did blockages. Now we're doing imbalances. So blockages is going to be more of an underactive. Um, imbalance is going to be more overactive. Okay. So overly defensive, um, relying on others, opinion and approval and attention openly, always trying to please others. Okay. Never being satisfied with just, you know, allowing people to be as they are, or you be, you, or you being as you are, you're always trying to please somebody. Okay. Those people pleasers, those Women that are clingy, they have an overactive heart chakra, all right? Um, always trying to save people, okay? Hello, Captain Sava, you know what? Um, being that Wonder Woman to the family, all right? Always feel like you have to save someone from their misery, from their, from their issues, all right? That is someone who is a victim of having an overactive heart chakra. Holding grudges. Staying mad forever. Why are you staying mad forever? All right? And you don't want to forgive, okay? Not being able to forgive. Holding grudges, not being able to forgive, that is a sign of an overactive heart chakra, okay? So, when we're talking about the heart chakra and we're relating to love, all right? It's not going to be necessarily about romance, but it's about being able to love beyond limitations of your ego and your personal blockages, okay? Basically, opening up more to compassion and being able to accept what it is, all right? Being able to accept what it is and allowing it to be, okay? So we live with our, our heart energies. Um, like our, our energies are based on the heart. Excuse me. So you have to remember when your heart is not balanced, Oh, sorry, y'all. When your heart is not balanced, most likely nothing else is balanced because it's literally the center portion which balances everything upwards and downwards. If if this, again, if, if this middle section, and we're talking the heart and the solar, if this is not balanced or if this is not in sync with the rest of your chakras, Everything else is not going to be right, okay? Everything else is not going to be right. And the thing is, is that 
sometimes our heart chakras are so clouded that we can't even see clearly, right? We can't see ourselves in the situation without being judgmental, okay? And the thing is, is that we have to use discernment and we have to use compassion, okay? We need to be able to see the beauty in everything. We, we need to be able to see the love in everything. We need to be able to see the duality in everything, okay? We need to be able to see the duality and be able to forgive people and have compassion even though they don't necessarily agree with what we agree with or they don't believe in what we believe in, that is okay. It is okay to have a difference of opinion. But to judge people, okay, to be out of mott, to be out of balance, okay, means that basically your heart is heavier than the feather. And that means that you probably are holding grudges, you're, you're um, not able to love, you're not able to appreciate because your heart energy is heavier than that feather, the mop, okay? Anubis brings you to the mop. When you die, Anubis brings you to the mop so that you can be judged in order to go on, okay? <laughs> in order to go on. So at the end of the day, you guys, we always have to think about being in sync and being in balance and, and continuing to live within mop, all right? If you don't know what Mott is, look up the 42 laws of Mott, M-A-A-T, all right? Mott is an Egyptian deity, energetic. This is not a person. This is an energetic um, symbolism of judgment. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a scale with the feather and the heart. That is Mott, all right? Mott, she will judge you based on your heart. That is how you should be judged, based on your heart. That's how we all judge people, right? Based on their heart, okay? But again, this judgment is not prejudice judgment. How our, skew, our skewed minds, our matrixed minds think, this is going to be more on the judgment of how you've lived out your days according to the 42 laws of mind, all right? Which is where the Ten Commandments came from. So let's not get started. Let's not get started on that. So as far as health, if you have a blockage within the heart chakra, as far as health is concerned, um, you might be looking at respiratory issues. You might be looking at heart-related issues, cardiovascular issues, also bronchitis, okay? Those things will indicate some type of imbalance within the heart chakra. So let's namaste and talk about healing, okay? So Shalom, you've told me how and why my heart chakra is blocked or unbalanced or overactive. Let's talk about how to balance it and heal it. Whew. All right, let's talk about that. So because this is an air chakra, all right, all about breathing, breathing, okay? So that's why you, when, you're, when you're upset and you get mad, and if, if I'm spiritually advising you, you will know that I tell you to breathe in and out four times, Taking deep breaths, and I'm not talking like, I'm talking about. Okay. When you do that breathing exercise, when you're done, you should feel lightheaded. That means that you're taking in the correct amount of air. Suck in that good prana. Suck it in. Suck it in. This is your air. Suck it in. Breathe in, breathe out four times. And on the exhale, you push it out. Push out that negativity. Push out that judgment. Push out that prejudice. Push out that unconditional love. Push it. Push it out of you. Get it out of you. That is the only way to release. Relax, relate, release. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay? Count backwards from 10 while you're doing it. That's what you need to do. Breathing and breathing exercises are going to help the heart chakra. All right? Get outside. Have an appreciation for nature. Take a walk. Take a walk around the lake. Take a walk around the water. 
take a take a walk around I said the lake the water <laughs> take a walk around um the city okay I'm sorry y'all I just saw that I'm invited to go to training for Chanel so I'm just super excited I'm just like yes let's do it all right so I'm um, sorry y'all I just got real excited <laughs> But anyways, um, so I love Chanel, by the way, y'all. I'm, I love makeup, and this, this, that makeup is what makes my heart happy. Okay, doing makeup balances my heart chakra. All right. Now that we're talking about nature and the arts and beauty, makeup, being a makeup artist, change it puts my heart in the place it needs to be put in. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. So get out and have an appreciation for nature, the arts, the people. Go to museums. Go to art exhibits. Um, you know, go to the botanical gardens here in D.C. Go to somewhere that there's nature, people, and the arts, and you have appreciation. Music, okay? Going to, um, going to a, a symphony, going to a ballet, going to listen to classical music. I'm not talking about going to a concert and listening to trap music, all right? Because we know trap music is on that that 440 frequency, that frequency that is not in tune with our DNA code. 432 megahertz is is what you need to be listening to, or excuse me, 432 hertz, I should say, is what you need to be listening to in order to balance. It is nine, the completion, the divine number nine. It is completion. It is the number of transformation. It is the number of change. It is the number of ascension, enlightenment. When you're listening to trap music, you ain't doing nothing but messing up your DNA code. And this is proven. We are 70% water. Okay? Look at the effects of music on water. If you if you look at, if you go, and this is science, you guys. So I'm giving y'all a little bit of a of a science, um, a science lesson here. 440 hertz is um is very detrimental to the, the signatures and frequencies within water, okay? So basically what I'm saying is, is that when you listen to 432 hertz, it actually does something to the body. It does something to the soul. It does something to, um, it does something to your core, okay? So just want to throw that out there. That's, that's a little sidebar, sorry. <clears throat> self-care, OMG, self-care. You guys. Self-care, caring for yourself, caring for your core, caring for you, okay? Not only does this go for the, um, oh my gosh, the sacral chakra, this also goes for the heart chakra. And by that, I mean, and we're going to get to the oils and everything because I do have some healing oils for you guys, but... Taking baths with rose, okay, rose water, rose oil, um, those things are going to help with the heart chakra as well, okay? Um, and again, doing things that feed your heart. So with me, makeup. Makeup feeds my heart. Helping people and making women feel beautiful by not necessarily transforming them, but enhancing what they already have, okay? That is does something to my heart chakra that makes me feel amazing when I can sit up here, okay, when I can sit up here and say, I'm going to make this woman feel beautiful and this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it through makeup, through talking to her while I'm doing makeup, by telling her she's beautiful, by making, like, that is why I compliment women all the time because not only does it make me feel good that I can make someone else feel good, but it also makes them feel good that someone else can make them feel good. It's reciprocity, okay? It's all relative, all right? Do unto others that you want done to yourself. That's just how the world works. That's how the universe works. Healing wounds, okay? Healing wounds of the past. So we're talking about family and friends and loved ones, all right? You got to un, unattach yourselves, okay? The ethereal cord video, you guys, is perfect for what I'm talking about right here, right now on this point. You have to heal your heart. Allow yourself to release the things and... Um, the things and uh, what your family, oh my gosh, I can't talk. The things that your family has done to you, the things that they have said to you, your friends, if things that are hurtful, don't, 
That And that goes with releasing grudges, healing yourself, and being able to love again unconditionally. If you just came out of a relationship and your heart broke and that person broke your heart, okay, take some time. It's okay. Take some time to heal. But guess what? It's time to move on. It's time to no longer hold grudges that a person hurt you or broke your heart. It's time to move on. It's time to release that energy because you holding on to that energy is doing nothing but blocking your heart chakra. And I can really tell when someone's um, heart chakra is blocked because, again, they're, um, they're holding grudges. They're heartbroken and they're still like really holding on to that energy that that person did to them. It's time to release it. OK. And last but not least, expressing gratitude. Express your gratitude. Be thankful. Wake up every morning and tell the universe how thankful you are, how 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 you feel amazing. Um, and, you know, there's a way to to um, to thank the universe. You go from the east and you come all the way around. OK, that is the way. All right. The, the, the sun rises in the east and what sets in the west. So you you. You turn to the east because that's the rising sun, the rise of the day, okay? The rise of the light, the rise of yourself. Every day you're reborn. Every day you rise. So you always pay gratitude to the east all the way around, okay? That is how we pay gratitude every morning, all right? Meditations. Waking up, meditating on gratitude and expressing your love for the universe, love for the spirit, love for yourself, okay? Okay? That is the way we show and we express gratitude, okay? And it doesn't have to be out loud. It can be silent, you know, even if that means that you go and you help the homeless, you give, um, you know, you give someone money that may need it, like a homeless person or someone, without needing anything return. in return. That is the highest form of gratitude, giving something to someone and you know that they cannot give it back to you, okay? Now, oils. I love me some oils, Okay. So oils that'll help with your healing are rose, neroli, alang alang, um, jasmine, and bergamot. And you see a lot of these are in perfumes. So that's why I'm so obsessed with perfumes um, because the a lot of these botanicals are based in your perfumes, okay? Especially for women, all right? So that's why women love perfume because it's connected to our hearts, okay? That's why um, perfumes kind of do something to your body, especially like rose-based perfumes. It does something to your heart, all right? It, there's a connection here, you guys. So we just have to be, you have to think outside the box. The connections are there. You just got to make them, okay? Um, I already told you guys stones. Also, yoga poses, doing yoga um, will actually help to open up the heart chakra as well. So, you know, really becoming one with yourself and one with your body. Again, it's all about connections. It's all about making connections to energy, okay? Energy and frequency, all right? So the next heart chakra video is going to be about the frequency of money, okay? Because the heart chakra is associated with um, the color green, which is associated with the frequency of money. So I'm just going to do a short video next. Um, it's going to be on, again, the, the frequency of money, different mantras that you can use and say every day in order to um, to attract money to you because money is actually man-made, so it's not part of the universal frequency, but the universal frequency does um, relate to abundancy and prosperity through gratitude, okay? So you have to remember, and I'm not going to spill this beans too much, but the heart, as long as your heart is in the right place, then you will receive all the blessings that you deserve. All right, loves. So continue to work on the heart chakra this week. This week, continue to build and work on the anahata. All right. I love you guys so much. Namaste. Shalom. Thank you so much, you guys. And I will catch you in the vi next video. Peace.